Hi, I'm Phoenix, and this is my dog, Takaya. I really want to get good at trolling my dog, so I wanted to share um, my practice. And the way I've been trying to get better um, is I'm trying to do studies where I I copy from a reference, and then I try to um, then I just kind of trace on top of the reference and try to make sure to see w what I'm getting wrong, and then I try it without looking at the reference and just go back and forth and try it a few times. Uh, Cause I've been drawing for a few years, and I haven't been getting um, any better with without looking at references. So pretty much, uh, I have to draw with a reference, and I want to be able to draw from memory. And since I haven't been practicing that or testing myself with it, challenging myself with it, I haven't learned it. So I can copy references pretty well. Uh, but since I haven't been practicing for the first one over here. I drew it by looking at the reference, it was just kind of a quick sketch. Then I went over it with the like a grid to kind of see the proportions, the scales uh, of her features and just see where I'm getting, uh, what I'm getting wrong. Let me zoom in. So here I just did a different color to kind of help me see and I just kind of see um, some of the details that I'm getting wrong. Here I did the same thing. So th here I try to do it on my own. Oh well, actually this one right here, I think I did it by just tracing it, the outline, and then try to do it on top of it. Over here I try to do it from memory, and then you can see in the red I just went over it. I just duplicated the layer, just duplicated this layer, and then just kind of try to match up the my reference of her on C and see where I kind of messed up. So you can see how. Oh, I kind of messed up the curve of her head and make her ears big enough um, and her nose and then made her head slightly or her mouth slightly wider. So you'll just notice some some things, some errors, and hopefully next time you practice it. So here's the next time, which I think I did better, was the, the next time I tried it without looking at a reference, and you can see I, did, I got pretty close. Um, made her ear a little bit too short and I, I just trying to get the features so I kind of didn't make her her spot on her left side match up but at least this one I was pretty happy because compared to my old ones what I used to do was from my old memory was just like <laughs> like this and I was like oh my goodness so um, at least I can put values in there I'm better. <laughs> uh, and then, so I was like, oh, well, you know, yeah, I'm still just still just relying on their reference and everything. I want to be more creative. And I, uh, I love Berserk. So I wanted to make a design. So my next study, I tried to practice it without um, looking at the reference and looking at the reference, um, tracing over the reference, studying the reference. And this really helped me kind of see my errors and give me good feedback. I know people say you don't want to trace, but it's if you're, um, it's such a good way to learn faster. Um, that's why I like digital art, because then you can just overlay the layers and uh, have the pass change of opacity just so you can double check and see how much. It's kind of hard to see how big your errors are when you can't just overlay it. Uh, when you're looking from real life. So here I did the same thing. I try to draw it from memory or, or using the reference and then I go over and see kind of see I'm not getting the good angle and making the head wide enough. Um, making this the midline of the head a little bit too 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 narrow um, and not getting enough on this foreshortening of the neck. So then I try it again. Uh, I wouldn't say I like got better, but at least I practiced, got more experience on it. Um, I made the, the left side even has a bigger error. And then I did it a third time. Um, I would say the the finish of it looks a lot better than this one, um, the second one. So you, you, you're gonna get better, you might stagnate, you might get worse. And that's just part of it, but long term, as you keep challenging yourself and doing small 
improvements, small challenges, and small um, studies. Um, just taking these small steps, you'll, you'll get better long term. So here you can see how I made big errors. But at least it looks better. And I think all three I used references, so I didn't try it from memory on this one. And but what I ended up doing, I was like, well, if, uh, but I'm gonna try to use this for uh, to be a little creative. So then I decided I'm gonna design um, a dog in armor. So I kind of got the scale and then used the reference to to create uh, my dog in armor. I'm pretty happy about it. So here's another one. I wanted to study my dog because I was like, well, that's cool that I can apply armor and make something, kind of some some art on my own, but I also want to do some realism and be able to draw my dog doing anything. So I was like, well, I need to do my studies better because normally what I used to do was draw one at a time. I would just like do the reference and whatnot. And then And I would be done. Uh, instead of doing it multiple times, try to get better. Wee. So, so this one I feel like I'm actually getting better. And I'm retaining some more information, and learning more. Um, kind of took me a hard. Uh, it was actually kind of hard to do this because I was like, well, I was more like a one and done kind of guy and with my my references. I was like, you did it once, and then I put that away. And we'll never use it again. Uh, I feel like that's uh, an ineffective way because <laughs> it, it's harder when you have such different variety in your, when you're studying. You want to make your studies as consistent uh, to make bigger, uh, to make your small improvements. So this is helping me. I, uh, I feel like I'm more confident. Well, I'm for sure more confident uh, in drawing from memory. Although I do need a reference to look at initially to remind myself, I'm still not in green. So the first one I was using the reference, and you can see, um, and I find it. You can see patterns in what you're making errors. So I have, tend to make errors in making the scale and proportions of her limbs or her head, um, and also kind of how they overlap to make to make it. This one looks flat compared to her real, from the real reference. Uh, you can see how it looks kind of flat down here instead of kind of overlaying the the leg over here. So, and then I try to do it from without a reference. And you can see how simple-minded <laughs> my drawing is, but it's definitely better than this, which I used to draw. It was so hard. I, I did get to this point or just get to just get the proportions or something like that and I just like be like oh this is so bad and just quit um, if, uh, and I was like oh, I'm just I'm not gonna do this I'm just gonna go back to drawing with my references and then after that I was like looking oh, okay well let me try to just try to get the scale proportions of her head divided just something simple because I was like well, if I'm gonna try to do this, I mean, yeah, this tracing, seeing my errors are doing, doing all right. I mean, but how am I gonna apply this if I'm trying to draw from scratch? Uh, so I was like, well, I'm gonna have to. One thing I can do is try to divide, uh, see how I can divide her body. And so a simple way I'm trying to draw is just draw it, divide it into fourths. So, so whenever I want to draw see how much her head compares to her body so try to get the scale because over here you can see I made her head half her body size and you can see how, how, how I improved and I would just kind of want to did some more lights and values get some more detail in there more finished product um, I didn't do it I didn't do a more finished product uh, didn't render as much on these other ones just because I wanted to focus on the scale. Uh, 
So if you get the scale and the proportions and their relationship to each other, your, your drawing will look better. Um, and I want to, that will help me save time because that, that's the biggest chunk of you know, improving your art. So let's go to the next one. Do not want to save that. And here, so I was like, yeah, so if I want to draw from scratch, I need to know, pretty much I need to know her proportions. So here I kind of studied her proportions. Over here, you can see how I made it a whole head longer. Her tail, I made it a whole, like maybe two heads longer. Bottom foot, a whole leg. So I got her whole proportions wrong. And you can see on the second one, better, but still not um, accurate. But at least I drew, uh, so this one I drew using the reference. This one I drew without the reference. And that's a huge improvement from, from the first one I did. So this is pretty much what I'm going to start doing. Is I'm going to start, start just practicing more on one reference, study it more, put more effort, and put more challenges, and see if, um, how I can improve off of one reference. Mainly starting with the scale and proportion. I, th uh, I still don't know the scales and proportions of my dog. I apply them, but I don't have them like memorized or. I have a better idea of drawing human figures to scale and proportions of their body parts, but not not my dog. So, and what I really want to prioritize my drawing my dog. That's what I've try, been trying to do for so long. But, and that's that's pretty much this video. I'm gonna try to record more daily, but I knew the quality of this one isn't that great. But I knew I just have to just make a video. So thanks for watching.